изюм в шоколадной глазури. Raisins covered with uh, chocolate. Chocolate icing or frosting. It looks, uh, they, they actually look like uh, M&M's. And uh, in section you can see some some raisin fruit inside. Uh, yeah. Then again, we have experienced a big influence of our neighboring nations, uh, namely from Asia. So this is product called halva. They come um, in a number of varieties, made of uh, peanuts uh, and uh, uh, sunflower, sunflower seeds. So this one is covered with chocolate, and this is how it looks uh, inside. So halva is inside, and outside it's chocolate. Yeah, this um, smells uh, with a peanut or of peanut. Um, another one, dried plum or prune in chocolate, also quite delicious. Could could come uh, uh, cover it with white chocolate variety. Here, it's cross section. Ooh, softy. And another one called kazinak. Basically, uh, sunflower seeds which are glued together with some kind of uh, honey or something. As I learned today in Wikipedia, it is of Georgian origin. Uh, by the way, in the end of the video or in comments to that, uh, to that video, I will post some uh, links to Wikipedia which will, where you could uh, read more about the stuff I have just shown you. Okay, moving on to candies and uh, chocolates. Uh, these will be quite, quite iconic uh, and famous pro products of Russia. Mishka uh, Kasalapy, little bear cub, uh, and it is a chocolate candy. Inside, it has layers probably praline very tasty and uh, everybody knows it then uh, comes um, karovka a little cow or cow in affectionate way uh, these ones look like such bars and inside they have a toffee like Feeling. Okay, it's a bit a bit uh, crystallized in this one, but it should be should be nearly dripping dripping out of it. Uh, next sort of candies are toffees. This one is called Zolotoy Klučik golden little key little golden key and it's it is featured in Russian rendition of the Pinocchio fairy tale called in Russian Buratino and this one is called kiss kiss which doesn't mean kiss in a in a world sense of, of the word but uh, this is the uh, this is the way we attract attention of cats and if you see it, it has a tiny cat. They were sold in uh, in uh, tubes in Soviet Union, but not uh, of round shape, but of the shape of the candy. And uh, these were two most popular types of uh, toffee or iris, iriski, as we we called them. Uh, but uh, that one you could uh, chew. They they're a bit chewy. And uh, this is quite hard, and it's we call it a uh, filling uh, taker. So it just takes away your fillings in uh, in your tooth. 
This is the Kiss Kiss variety. So see, it's quite malleable, soft, and you hardly can do anything to that one. Золотой ключик, little golden key. It's so hard. Yeah, it's impossible to, to bend it. Okay. Now, this one. You show it to any Russian anywhere in the world, he will immediately recognize it. Called Alenka, milk chocolate, was developed in the uh, 60s and uh, used to be number one brand that I assume. So here how it looks. It is written Alenka. Alenka is a, is a name of a girl. Alenka or Helena, Helen. Now comes in a number of varieties. This is the original one, just plain uh, milk chocolate. Now they have uh, with milk, with uh, condensed milk and creme brulee. Another cult chocolate called Inspiration of Dakhnaveni in Russian. I think uh, foreign tourists uh, are familiar with it or at least those who travel to Soviet Union because it glorifies uh, traditions of uh, Soviet and uh, Imperial belly. See the Bolshoi, its profile. And uh, what is peculiar about it, it came in the shape of, of little bars and it has nuts, crushed uh, hazelnuts inside. So it was a very special chocolate for Soviet kids so uh, you could give it to a, to a girl. See, these are crushed nuts, hazelnuts inside. And on to the next. Okay, last but not least, the aforementioned condensed milk. Here it's can. It's not a traditional uh, Soviet design can. Uh, in a Wikipedia ar article which I will post to this video, you will find the more traditional blue and white striped design. But this is how it looks. It's liquid. It's sweet. And um, if you boil the can for two or three hours in water, it will turn uh, brown and uh, will become much more dense and become it will turn into kind of paste and uh, in my childhood uh, they used to make uh, sandwiches with that paste putting it over over a loaf of bread or a slice of bread rather and we immensely enjoyed it well these were uh, by no means uh, a complete that wasn't a complete uh, list of uh, candy sweets and confectionaries we used to have in Soviet Union prior their advance of um, Western sweets but uh, but uh, I tried to find uh, everything I could in our local supermarkets and I still missed a couple of items a um, couple of them are my favorites but still you can get the picture I think uh, guys from uh, other uh, ex-Eastern Bloc countries could recognize some of that stuff uh, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck!